let me hit the record button. All right, there we go. Cool. So, uh, welcome to the my campaign, which is under the eyes of Zosh, Zahash, excuse me, Zahash. Um, I'd like to thank you all for uh, checking us out and such like that. We got a variety. I like I like the variety of um, experience here. Um, Andrew is brand new. Uh, I know Jerry's played a bit and Dominic's played a bit. Um, so that's that's super cool. Uh, and I want to make sure uh, everyone has a good, comfortable experience. So uh, I, I I tend not to do, I don't want to do this whole thing where we sit down and introduce each other's characters. I want to just fucking dive into it. And I'm going to set, set the scenario for you guys, um, give you an idea of what, what's kind of happening in the world, what your situation is. And then uh, we'll go from there. Sound good? Good. Okay, so all of you are from all over this continent. It's a it's a it's a sizable continent. It's not just some small little place. But uh, I don't have a name for it offhand. But I'll have, we'll come up with a name for it. If you, have, if you have name suggestions for something that I don't have a name for, please chime in. Um, I would appreciate if you typed it into the chat for me, so I know how, I know how you want to spell it. Because <laughs> if we start guessing spelling, it gets a little wild. Um, so. Uh, over the last about, uh, as far as everyone knows, kind of at least, at least a thousand years, um, a lich named uh, Zahash has dominated a majority of this continent. Uh, he reigns with um, not just his own power so much as a, um, he, he delegates. He, he's a lich that delegates. <laughs> Um, and, uh, like, like Jerry's reaction, Jerry's like, that, that's how I do it. You know, yeah. You know, it, it, immortality and cheap, buddy. You gotta, you gotta have an organization. Um, yeah. so the same Highlander. So, uh, <laughs> um, he, um, it's unclear where he comes from. Um, it's, uh, his origins are kind of lost to the, to the ages. Um, it is known that in the past he did rule through like fire, rain from the sky, hardcore armies and such now it's a little more orchestrated much more organized he doesn't have roving bands he doesn't have uh dragons flying in the sky you know killing everybody he, he, he more or less has his organization kind of set um what is known is that he has his organization has at least several dozen other liches beneath him um, and he and they seem to obey him without recourse. Uh, so he seems to have some sort of structural setup for this and such. Um, of particular interest to you is what is known as simply the pit. The pit is a large, um, we'll say, strip mine operation <laughs> um, located. Uh, a little off the center of the continent in what now is essentially just like wasteland. Um, there's nothing's growing out there for miles. No one goes out there, but it is a deep and large strip mine operation, probably about, um, about, about whole about three, four miles wide in the earth that goes down about 250 feet. This is accomplished through effectively uh, forced servitude. That uh, one of Zahash's camps is is there in the, the the pit, and it is a it is a labor camp where he has uh, his goal seems to be extracting uh, whatever resources are in the earth there through just going for it. Um, with a particular interest towards any kind of valuable gems. Um, thoughts behind this are either to fund the, his, his situation or to use for uh, magical materials. Okay. Um, the pit, one thing, the, the unique element of the pit though is this, um, I don't know how to describe it, like, like this almost, cast iron looking tower that stems from it. And what's interesting about it is that the, the tower is in the center of this pit, but it's, it's always, no matter how deep the pit goes, it's always an equal distance above the ground level. 
um, the iron does not look so much for that it's built on it does not look so much forged as it looks grown. Hmm. Um, and it seems to mold itself almost to the earth as it goes on. Though it's very slow, like you're not, you can't really notice it if you sit there and watch it. You're not going to notice it, but over time, it's definitely got uh, bigger and better. And this um, uh, this tower is uh, overseen by one of uh, Zahash's liches, known as Jarzok. 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 Yeah, uh, J A R Z O C H. Jarzok. Okay. Um, and the 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 tower kind of just rotates very slowly, like at, at the top. It, it, it's like a like a uh, rotating restaurant type situation. <laughs> but uh, it, 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 hey, look, if, 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 if you're gonna live forever, man, do it in style. I'm mad at it. I'm mad at it. Um, he's not seeing, you know, he's not walking around the pit checking everyone's jobs or anything like that. He does have the, an organization there that does ensure the servitude, um, whether it's through taskmasters, overseers, etc. Um, and he delegates mostly to his other uh, people. The, um, the largely this is all uh, accomp accomplished under the, um, common flag called the Vol, B-O-L. The Vol is a religion that has essentially two real like uh, approaches. One of them is very much like, the, 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 common, the common mythology is that we can become gods, that everybody can become a god. Now what that means is different. Some people believe that that's through like kind of us coming together that, that this kind of godliness is a self mastery. Other people, other people like Zahash is like, I am a god. I can become a literal, powerful being over you know reality and such. The, 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 and this is clearly the kind of the people in, in charge's kind of take on this. Um, so that is the pit that it kind of gives. It, um, I, I'll, I'm happy to take kind of questions on the world real quick or anything like that too or I can kind of delve into uh, how I want to introduce your characters to each other um, and set that up too. What's the, uh, what's the terrain like in, uh, around the pit? It, it's wasteland. Um, wasteland, got it. it. It's just cracked earth for, for miles. Um, okay. It's unclear on, it, it's kind of known where it is in general, but the specifics of where it is in that wasteland is unclear. Hmm. Um, because no one, no one's trying to walk out there. Um, as far as uh, Zahash's organization goes, they get out there through either, like they have teleportation circles, they kind of bring stuff in and out, or most people that are coming out there, they don't leave, so they don't know a way back. Um, and some people, uh, perhaps much like, uh, how do I say, Dazog? Jerry, how do I say your, your character's name? Oh, 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 uh, Zog Chen. Zog like Chen. Zog Chen, yeah. Zog Chen. Name. Um, and then is it uh, Norovar? Norovar. Norovar. Um, the, the, in, your, in both of your characters' cases, you guys just kind of woke up there. Um, you guys got uh, kidnapped, essentially, and uh, through various means. Now, our gnomish friend, Morbarn, uh, do you want me to call, is the character's full name, do I, do I say more barn or do I just say like more or how do I do this? More barn. More barn. Can I ask you too where that comes from? Because I know that's your username on IG, I have to ask. Um, what? Mm, it's from Neil Young recording uh, Harvest Moon. Gotcha. He recorded in his barn and when he was listening to the playback, he infamously yelled out, needs more barn. Nice. So, <laughs> It's nice. that like rebel spirit that I respect. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so, where some other people like Morbarn, uh, you have you came here through your own volition in, in a sense that your uh, gnomish town owed their quota, could not meet their quota to uh, Zahash's forces, and as such um, had to. Um, send a tribute, which was you essentially. You volunteer as tribute. Okay. 
So um, I guess my opening question to you with more barn is how long have you been working in this camp? It's pretty new to me. Like I have just arrived okay. and you right. know, um, right. I'm, you know, keeping myself not really sure. Okay. Yeah. Brand new. Just I want to be clear, before I move on to, I want to be clear. Um, none of you have any gear. You, Big, you have you like have, amps, and, amps and mics and stuff. Or? No, you don't have any gear. No, no. you don't have your swords. You don't have your. You know, no. I, you know, if you were a bard, maybe, but you're not. Um, so uh, you get you get to wield your face melt from nine thousand. All right. <laughs> um, so you um. Uh, effectively, all of you have been kind of part of uh, taken across the wasteland into the pit. Um, you all start to wake up uh, about as you're descending into the pit. Um, you're you're sat in a uh, a wagon of some sort, going along this kind of like elevator, uh, uh, being lowered into it. And you can see over the pit. You can see a pretty good portion of it. Uh, except for the part that's obscured by the uh, iron tower. Um, the thing about the iron tower is weird too. Is like it seems to also um, shade areas of it of the place too. Due to how big it is, I mean, it's, it's big, it's a big tower. So, um, be, uh, around you are uh, there is on the elevator uh, being it's being pulled um, by an ogre. Um, it seems like your guess this is probably his job. In addition, there are uh, several uh, not heavily armored, but armored uh, guards wearing a common uh, garb. Um, it does not look um, cheap. Like it's actually pretty, it's pretty nicely made in a sense of like they're wearing um, breastplate with tabards um, that have the bull colors, which are largely got a very bright red. Um, bright red and the silver kind of armor they have. Um, and they, uh, they're not saying anything to you guys. And you're there with probably about another like dozen or so folks getting lowered into the pit. So, uh, I've had better hangovers. Yeah. So Norvar, you have, a, you have, no, you're, you're still recovering from a hangover. Um, and uh, you're, you're, the, the sun's definitely hitting you pretty hard. It's not a fun way to wake up. You're, you're, uh, it's bright and dry. Um, so it's not, not a good hangover <laughs> remedy. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, next to you is sitting a uh, gnome and a rather uh, different looking dwarf. You've seen a lot of dwarves in time. But this one looks different. Uh, uh, Jerry, what, what color is your character's skin? Like on, on like the the scale of uh, Dugar? Like a dark... Thickness or color? What's up? You say color or thickness? Color. Like what, what color is their skin? Like because they have a range of color. It, it's like it's either like a like, I mean borderline black to like like an ash gray. Yeah, I was I was thinking more towards the darker side. Okay, so you, you see yeah. this like. And when I say like you see like this black dwarf, I don't mean like like he's like 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 what we, what we think of black people. Like we think like he is like I mean his skin is borderline black, like like this color. Yeah. Um, okay, so he's um, and it, you you've uh, you're, you've seen dwarves many times. You've you've met them before party. Hell shit, you've even party with them before the night before. But this one, you're like. Holy shit. And then what, what color is his hair like gray, like a dark gray? I was thinking white. White? Okay. Okay. And we're not, we're not, just real quick, Dugar in my world, we're not doing the fucking fourth edition Dugar, which are weird. With, you know, <laughs> the, 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 quill, the quill beards, the quills. That yeah, was, we're not doing that. And, and the women had the, the quill mohawks. Yeah, yeah. Like Andrea, they literally had quills they could shoot out of their fucking face. It's oh, weird. It was weird. That was the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, fucking Quillbeard. Right. Well, I guess I'm groggily looking around and going like, "I hate to tell you this, friend, but I think you've been out in the sun too long." <laughs> um, uh, it, it, it's it's uh, one more time. It's Zogchen. Zogchen, yeah. Zogchen. 
Zochen, you're finding this, um, as your friend, this guy next to you, you, you know what a hangover looks like. Mm. Uh, however, though, you feel like you're in worse shape than him being out in the sun. Yeah. It, it, is, it is painful. Mm. Um, for, it, it hurts your eyes to look at anything. Um, you can feel your muscles like, like you're, you're kind of tensed up a little bit. Um, but you also remember your training and to kind of zen it out a little bit. But it's, 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 it's taking a lot of your willpower to hold it, hold it together here. Okay. Um, and then our, our Noah friend, uh, can you tell me, uh, really quick, just give, everyone give me like a basic physical description. Don't worry about armor. Don't worry about gear. Just think like, what is your character looking, look like basic clothes type situation? Uh, well, I mean, I think, uh, my guy, he's dark, ha dark hair, almost black, real pale skin, very, uh, tattooed body wise. A lot what of tattoos like, does he have? You know, think of it along the learned terms of prison tattoos. Some okay. are better than others. Some look homemade. Some look great. You know, some are really cool pieces of art uh, that reference all different things. But he definitely looks like shit right now. Completely hungover. Very confused. Uh, and uh, I guess he'd be wearing uh, probably clothes that look uh, are probably a little dirty right now and kind of mm -hmm. tore up, dark. But like you know. Well, he just looks like he got partied hard, got thrown out into the street, and got roughed up. Uh, not too beat up at the in the face of stuff. Just looks more like a mess. I'm just like what the fuck is happening. And your character's half elf. Yeah. So you uh, do you have facial hair? No. Okay. So you see this half elf. He looks. He's got kind of his ears aren't too sharp, but they're a little. They got they got little points to them. Uh, you can see through his hair poke out a little bit here and there. Okay. Um, what about uh, either Morbarn or uh, Zogchen? You go ahead. Oh, put it on the spot. Nice. Uh, my, my simple, so go ahead. Yeah, I, I would say that um, I have really long hair, super long hair, but it's uh, tied back in braids. So okay. lots of braids. Um, and, you know, I have... I, I kind of didn't want pale skin, but I'm not sure. Didn't know. I mean, I guess. Maybe whatever. No, no one's have a pretty good variety. Yeah. Uh, standard, uh, standard human, human, um, even, even just like a golden brown almost. Um, yeah. Um, I was kind of, I, you know, I have sort of a, yeah, like a golden brown color, but really dark, almost red uh, coloration around my eyes. Like okay. super dark, piercing, like uh, almost like uh, they almost look scarred because of yeah. the, the contrast and the color. Um, I tend to, you know, communicate a lot just through my my gaze, and I feel like just over time because I'm a couple hundred years old, it's just piles on the the real intense expression what, um, what, what colors are hair um almost like a i don't know like a silvery kind of white gray okay. okay gotcha and for now because i'm i just arrived to the pit i'm wearing like what i went to bed in so it's just a real lightweight kind of robe uh you got a tunic yeah yeah like i haven't even had a chance to get dressed okay. yeah you, you know that they'll probably issue you some sort of like work gear here or something like that or whatever you need so or whatever whatever like that okay um what about uh zog chen so zog chen is i mean we already said he's uh he's got like obsidian like skin uh, he's got a white beard. He's got a shaved head. Uh, the cloister, the monastery where he's from, uh, they don't braid their beard. So while he has a long beard, it's just it's just out. It's not like the normal dwarven, all that. They just they just let it out. Uh, doesn't have a shirt. He just has basic, you know, action pants and his barefoot. He has some mala beads. Does he have any tattoos or anything? No. No tattoos, no. Okay, that's just, that's cool. 
Um, so yeah, uh, so as you're uh, descending, uh, you see the uh, more barn, you see that both this gnome and this, uh, or, yeah, this, sorry, this gnome. you see this dwarf and this half elf look ex both extremely uncomfortable, almost in pain. Um, the half elf seems to be mumbling something under his breath about like partying hard or something like that. Uh, yeah. yeah I, I might be mumbling something about I'm clearly as I look at them going I might be too tall for this ride what the <laughs> you hit your head yeah <laughs> what's going on hell how are we well, you guys <laughs> I, I, that's what I would be doing I'd be just like I just, I just grunt <laughs> Okay. As I'm trying to, I'm trying to focus. Hey, little guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, what? Where? Do you? You seem like you're comfortable. Where are we? What is this? Who are you talking to? Ah, uh, hey. no. Oh, I was there. Oh. You know what? <laughs> you know. I distinctly recall a tavern. I don't recall being lowered into a hole. You know where this, you know what's going on? Think I about you, it. Andrea. I grab you and I'm like, we're in a pit. We're in a <laughs> so this little, so you're, you're sitting on this, like these like little um, out of it. benches and like this gnome just grabs you by the, by the, by the collar and is like, we're in a pit. And um, you, um, no, no, Ravar, you, you've heard of this place. You've heard of you've heard of the, these kind of work camps, and you're there's a good chance you're not going to leave here. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> well, you you do get a flashback of somebody telling you that like. You, you do get some flashes of hearing somebody say, like, you know, um, let's go sell them off and see what we can get for them in your drunken stupor. Shit. Well, still not the worst morning I've ever had. <laughs> okay. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to probably start coming to my senses feeling my mouth tasting like cement and start looking around and trying to take in exactly everything yeah. I need to know because I am not happy about this. So you, you take in that there's like around the edges of the pit, uh, you can see there's various like holes where they're digging through. Um, the uh, uh, Zog Chen as a, as a Duogar, you, you can, you can kind of make it out to this point. It's hard, you have to kind of squint really badly to see it all. But uh, whatever kind of operation this is, it is shoddy. It is unsafe, and it is like without any like, like even the dwarves you don't really care for. You're like they would do a better job than this. So I, I also want to mention to you in my world that uh, like because I know like the Duogar kind of have the, the issue with Morad Moradin. Yeah. Um, so Moradin is not like the dwarven god in my world. Moradin is the first dwarf. Okay. Does that make sense? So yeah. Yeah. Good to. Know. Okay. So. Um, yeah, so it's in Corellon. Corellon's the first elf. That's kind of the, the progenitors, if you will. Um, but they're like they're like the Adam and Eve of like uh, yeah, Corellon is the Adam and the Eve together simultaneously. Um, so you um, you get this uh, you see this shit job. You can see they're kind of like it you can kind of see some people walking through and you're like, whatever they're having them do, they don't care if they live or die. Like, like the people putting them in here don't care if they live or die. They're, and you can see with the group that you're with, that they seem to have a pretty good um, steady flow of labor. Mm. So, um, the, the elevator slowly hits the bottom, hits the bottom of the, of the pit or this kind of staging area, you get off and um, they, um, you get, you're, you kind of, you start noticing too that you have uh, manacles around your legs. Nice. And uh, you see the, um, 
uh, one of the guards, these bull guards, uh, who's in nice armor, comes over and looks you guys over and says, everybody up. All right. How big yeah. is this dude? Uh, he's, he's pretty good size. He's wearing armor. He has a, uh, oh. he's armed with a sword and shield. Um, okay. and you can tell that they have, I mean, he has an, there's an ogre over there listening to what they're saying to him about, uh, pulling the, the pulleys up and down the, the elevator. So, um, and you can see there's more, um, there's a few more guards in the, in the pit as well. Um, but you notice that, like, uh, behind him, down kind of like where this um, this platform is, you can see um, a man in actually fairly nice robes, um, that unique robes, if, if you will, that are custom made, uh, walking with another crew of another four guards um, that seem to be at his beck and call. Okay. So. Um, do you guys stand up? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Go along with things for a little bit. I don't know, dude. You guys, you guys listen to Rage Against the Machine. I don't know how you guys fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he's got ten hit points. He's standing up. All right. <laughs> I'm just looking for. I'm just trying to get. I'm still. I think at this point, I'd still be just starting to take in stuff and starting to go. Okay. Yeah, you. You, you yeah. might stick you might stand up there Dominic but you're not standing up straight no oh no I'm definitely way like we waving and kind of stumbling so you notice the, the manacles are interlinked um and the uh the one guard's talking to the ogre and the ogre kind of comes over and the the manacles that you guys have around your feet um are connected to a single chain and the ogre comes over and kind of starts like picking up the chain like he's gonna be the one to like walk you guys so we're all chained together, the three of us, like all in a row. Uh, you and you and another dozen people. Oh. I'm about to say that's okay. So yeah, a it's, a, it's a big line, yeah. And yeah. Um, you you see a man with like a, 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 a he's obviously important. He has a clipboard. And mm -hmm. he he's standing there in his fine robes with his with his with his, his ledger as you guys kind of approach and he's he kind of goes like this. The ogre starts kind of pulling the chain slowly. Sounds mm. like the Holocaust. I don't like it. Yeah. It's you don't like it. I'm <laughs> trying to walk in lockstep with the rest. I'm of telling you, man, it, 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 I, I, it, it's it's a sword and hardcore sorcery thing. Now, I will say this: there it is. They're they're not they're not picking you guys because of like your racial backgrounds. Or your religion. <laughs> They're just like, we're thinking. Can you work? Cool. You're in. <laughs> like it's well, not... so progressive slavers. That's it's, it's, there you go. Yeah. If you if you if you, if you need a way, yeah. They don't. They're not discriminated about who. I mean, if I'm going to be enslaved, I'd rather it be progressive. Right. I'd rather be it for the labor I can produce, not just because of who who how I was born. Yeah. Yeah. That's just rude. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, okay. So they um they start bringing you in and. He he asked the first person name. Any skills I should know about? Mm -hmm. Who's first? What's up? Um, he he's just asking like the first person in line. Oh okay. This is some random. This is some rando. And please don't ask me to name everybody. I hate my I hate my fucking. Yeah, no. <laughs> what's this? So what's the what's the beggar's name? Okay, cool. Well, the cop that busted him. What's his backstory? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, dude, come on. Yeah. Um, you know, Tolkien. Clearly, there's only three people that matter in this chain. Yes, that's right. No. <laughs> um, and he, he kind of starts going through, and he says, "Okay." He points off to a point. Um, he kind of he kind of comes up and uh, points. Uh, he he takes like a piece of uh, he has like a a, a paintbrush, and he kind of like dips it in one of these inks and puts a mark on the guy. Um, on his on his uh, forearm here, it's not permanent. It's just a like a like a brush stroke of um, some. He's got different colors. He's got like, bl like a blue, a red, um, a green, uh, purple, um, kind of kind of color coded system of some sort. And the, like he didn't tell the guy what it's for. He just brush strokes him. And goes, All right, next up. Um, so the next up would be let's say it's bar. It's more barn. So he's sitting there with his guards. 
And he says, um, name? Morbon. Morbon. And you, you are, oh, a, a tribute. He can, kind of looks you over and he seems to know that you're, that you came voluntarily as a, as a tribute. He can tell because your clothes are a little bit better than everybody else's. Everybody else looks like they've been pretty roughed up. Yours looks like you actually put on an outfit to arrive for your <clears throat> slavery. Uh, like, like, and uh, he, yeah, you're, you're, yeah, you're much more, you're much, you, you came, you came dressed for success. And, uh, <laughs> and um, uh, he says, um, so, Smidge, what, um, what kind of skills might you bring? Allow me to show you. And I grab his paintbrushes. Okay, so you're gonna try to stack his paintbrushes? Okay. Uh, make a uh I roll a little bit. You, you're gonna you're gonna roll some dice here. Um, <laughs> to 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 do this. Um uh, I'll put I'll make this is, a, this is a, we'll just attack roll. Uh, do you have a do you have dice with you? Or do, are you using the are you using D D Beyond? I guess I'm using D and D Beyond. Okay. So if you're on D and D Beyond, if you're on your, your character sheet page, um, see where it says um, I don't know why it's not in there. Uh, just on the on the left hand side, there's a little like there's a little icon on the lower left hand side. The rolling dice, the twenty sided die. Yeah, there's a little twenty sided die. Um, a little circle on the lower left. No, I'm, like, I'm not even on the. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Yeah, no problem. Take your time. Sorry. No, no problem. Don't worry about it. Uh, it, it uh, while she's doing that, I might chain behind her. What order are we? In? Uh, you're next, and then it's and then it's uh, Zong Chen is in the back. <laughs> I look at him. It's like it's about to get interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so wait, I apologize. Wait, no, no, how, do no, 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 no. Our, how do I get on our campaign? Oh, oh, um, so you should be able to go to if you're on the main page and you go to um, at the top of it, he says, uh, I believe it says collections, yes, and there's things as my campaigns, yes, I, I should be in there. If okay, it's not, I see active campaigns, view campaign, uh, yeah, or, or there's a yeah, you should be able to view the campaign or something like that. Okay, then I must be on the page because it has all the play, all the characters. Yeah, and just click click your character on there. Yeah. And then you should be able to pull it up and it should have the whole sheet for you. <laughs> I take a second load. So. Uh, oh, well, my. The connection is unstable, so that's cool. It might be D and D beyond loading. It is pretty intense. So. It worked. I got it. Okay, so my dice is that down there on the right, yeah. left hand and corner. And you click that. Click that once, and then uh, the top, the top one, the D twenty. Just click that once. You got it. And then just hit roll and roll the dice, and you get a cool little effect where it rolls the dice. It's kind of fun. All right. And just tell me what you get. Cool. Say what? And, and just, uh, roll the dice and tell me what number comes up. Fourteen. Fourteen. Very nice. Okay. So you, so you, you kind of like. He has the paintbrush in his hand. He's got these inks, and you're you're sitting there. And you go, snatch, and you grab them. You you immediately grab them, and you have them in your hand. And as soon as you're doing that, his guards go to pull their like they start pulling their swords, and all four of them, you guys all hear a shh, 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 like it's the opening of a Man of War song or some shit. And like, <laughs> and uh, the um, uh, all those sorts of directors you, as you're holding this paintbrush and these inks, what are you gonna do? We are, I, are we about to find out the pen is mightier than the sword? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So what are you gonna do with it? Okay. I grab the the. Prisoner that's next to me. Okay, so you grab no revoir. So I, I take them and I put them in front and what? I grab my paint and I start painting their body with all the different colors. Okay. Ah. So, 
So you, you go up, you, you kind of pull them around, and they're all looking at you weird. Uh, the ogre kind of is, gets a little, int- he gets a little, like, he kind of starts taking some steps forward, like he's going to stop this. Um, and you start painting on his back, so on his clothes and whatever it is, um, making, it, making him look like he has an Ed Hardy shirt on or some shit like that now. And, <laughs> and uh, he, um, uh, they, the, the, they kind of stop you. The guards put their swords away and they come up and they pull you apart and they look at them. The, the guy kind of turns around and looks at you and he says, so you're some sort of artist? I am, but as you can see, he's no longer hung over. Am, am, am I not hung over? No, you're still hung over. <laughs> Constitution. <laughs> still hung over. Uh, you, um, uh, I, I'm an expert body painter, and <laughs> okay, he says he's really impressed with that for some he, reason. He says, "Um, what just happened?" Interesting. Do you uh, might you be able to uh, apply your skills to tattooing? Absolutely, because then I turn him around and I've painted something that looks exactly it almost makes him it's like a camouflage where you can't you can't see where the backdrop begins and where it is you don't you don't have time to do something that elaborate but like uh i I was like you into a beach character or something like that but um you you know you 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 kind of do a kind of start doing kind of a basic landscape of the area um these paints are more yeah these paints are more for skin and you're you're not painting on his bare skin you're painting on his on his like shirt gotcha Um, but uh, yeah, he's not. Yeah, he's not. He's not. It, it, it's swords and sorcery, but we're not swords and sorcery yet. Where we all have our shirts off and we're all fucking buff and doing the montage. Like we're not doing that part yet. Um, you got it. Yeah. So uh, this was my favorite of my least favorite shirts. Yes. <laughs> so, um, but he, he says, um, "Do you have uh, ability to recognize uh, to produce inks and paints?" Why, uh, yes. This would prove useful. We are always interested in uh, gaining high quality inks for our, uh, and he kind of points to his ledger for our uh, documentation. And he goes, he takes, the, he takes his paints back and he takes his brush back, uh, which I assume you give up freely. I give up freely. I grab some dirt, some of the dead earth, and I mash it with the other colors that he has, and it creates a whole new color. Okay. He says, he kind of looks, you start messing with, you start putting dirt in his paints, and he's, um, and you start, you, you kind of get some decent, decent stuff, and you kind of help yeah. augment some of the pigment a little bit, and he's like, I'm, your enthusiasm is noted, and he actually like writes in his ledger like a little notation next to you. He's not gonna let you read, um, and uh, he goes and pulls out one of the inks and gives you this orange mark on your arm. Um, next, mm. you seem sorry. to be. You seem to have a. You this one seems to have a. a if you get straightened up a little bit, it'll have a strong back. What? Well, uh, really, actually, uh, when not uh, a model, I'm. A uh, really great candidate for upper management, possibly office work. Um, I'm really good at paper shuffling, and uh, uh, you know, uh, I think I would be an excellent candidate for your um, intern program for um, C level. Like maybe acquisitions. I could. I'm uh, really good at finding talent. Uh, this one, this one is uh, talkative. You'll um, you'll be good for the spirits and the mind. And he like gives you a, he gives you a little blue mark. I really think you're underselling me. Honestly, I think I should be fast tracked um, to the office. Really, uh, I think that would be much better. I mean, I'm a great model, as you can see, and canvas. Um, <laughs> so. I mean, that's just the beginning. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, you're missing right. out on an amazing opportunity. Yes, yeah. and, and the ogre pulls a chain really quickly and you go, uh. That's just be rude. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna kill that guy. 
And he, he gives your name. And he's all, and he, oh, oh, yeah. What's your, what, what do you tell me your name is? Ham Sandwich Dickwad. <laughs> and he kind of he kind of looks over at the ogre, and the ogre kind of smiles a little bit, and uh, pulls a chain. Make a make a dexterity save with a uh, disadvantage. <laughs> I am so dexterous. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> zero. Okay, so the the ogre pulled a chain, <laughs> and you you managed to you Morbarn and Zogchen all fall like you guys all get yanked over with the weight uh. and the pull, and uh, yeah. Um, Do you have a negative one dexterity? Yes, you know. Right now, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, you 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 take everyone with you. Like you take everyone with you. Oh, uh, you think like, what? you're gonna ruin the art. <laughs> the, the ogre, the ogre comes over. And, like, the ogre comes over, picks you up by the scruff, essentially, and is like, and says, um, and the 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 guy says, name. I'm sorry, I got it wrong last time. I'll play nice. It's turkey sandwich, not ham. I thought I was a badass for grabbing the paintbrushes. <laughs> uh, you, you take 10 points of damage as the ogre punches you in the stomach. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're, you're a barbarian, right? He's a paladin. Oh. Okay. So you, you're now at one hit point. Yeah. <laughs> you feel, as you feel like you, you want to, you like, I mean, you start throwing up. Like, yeah. Like, I'm not gonna make a save. You start throwing up, <laughs> and um, Nor. Uh, the, what was it? Nor. Name's Nor. Thanks. Thank you. I was gonna lay. They, they they pull you on with it. We're more like drag. <laughs> yeah. So the next one, he says, "I'm gonna kill that guy." Uh, <laughs> Zogchen comes up, yeah. and um. He looks you over and he says, intriguing name. Zog Chen. He, he's taken aback a little bit by you. You can you kind of pick up on it pretty quickly with your insight that he's like, he's not sure how the hell you got here. He's like, you, he's like, I thought the Dogar were extinct. You thought wrong. Well, either way, you will be a you will be a fine addition to the to our services. Uh, do you have any skills? So, before before I say what I'm going to do, uh, the guy the guy in front of me, you said he's he's armored. Uh, the, 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 the guy you're talking to is in robes, and he's surrounded by four other armored individuals with, with half swords and shields ready. Or have, okay. they, have, they have swords at their side and shields at the side. There's two more guards there, and there's the ogre who's trying to pick up Norovar from his... Holding me like I'm in a ba we're in a bad relationship. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you invited to the poop party real quick. Yeah. Uh, so, and, and there's, a, there's a dude behind me? Yeah, there's another human behind There's a human guy kind of behind you. He's kind of, he's kind of frail. Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some monk shit and like sweep and grapple the dude behind me. Sweep? Well, your your legs are chained. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah right, doing so doing a sweep and leg chains would be impressive. <laughs> like, would be. I'm gonna be dragging everyone with me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, how how loose? I mean, uh, like how much how much slack we got on the chain? Well, your your hands aren't chained. Oh, my hands are. It's just your. It's just your. Yeah, you have. You just have uh, manacles on your feet. Whatever they're called. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you man. Run like you couldn't run if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I somehow I, I grabbed the guy behind me. Okay. All right. And so you, you grab him. He's. It's not even a problem to grab him. You. you yeah, grab him. and then and, I, and then I break his neck. The 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 other guy the, the other guy in chains. Yeah. Okay. You go up. You snap his neck. Yeah. And he looks at you and he says, that's entertaining. 
perhaps you might find um, time in time in our uh, <laughs> in our, our entertainment district. He gets upper management. I'm going to be pissed. Well, no. But the thing is, he took initiative. He didn't. Oh, no. he, didn't he didn't walk in. He didn't walk in. I said that to the ogre with a, with a bunch <laughs> of hands. I'm going to be pissed. What, what he did, so what the difference was is that you came in telling him all the shit you wanted. He came in and made the organization more efficient. No, no, I get it. <laughs> I get really it. Really looking like uh, Jared Leto in Fight Club after he got his butt. Yeah, they pulled, yeah, you, yeah you, made a, you made a hard HR decision there. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so um, you stab the dude's neck and I had a problem. I mean, the guy fucking just oh, dies. And um, they're like, impressive. We'll have to... Relink, see about relinquishing you into the the, the the fight arena, um. But might you have any other? Uh, but I'd imagine with arms like that, you would and uh, your people's uh, knowledge of the earth, you might be excellent at uh, finding valuable resources. No, don't dig. <laughs> he's just he's just silent he's a silent okay yeah he goes over to mark you um with a blue mark and then he he then puts like a little like t mark through as well mm, okay. like he uses our additional mark like and such and he says when, uh, uh, oh go ahead he, he's like uh, next but unless you have something to say or do Oh no, no! I'm just saying when when he's not looking, I uh, I, I say a prayer for the guy they just killed. Okay, he's a prayer. They um. That's very charitable. As the, as the <laughs> guy, as this, this chain this chained up this chained up corpse is, is in the line, he uh they kind of just like have you guys kind of like walk forward a little harder to pull him past the next one, and uh. Weekend at Bernie's action. We like pick him up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, cool, he's a canvas. <laughs> Jeez. I thought it was valuable. Yeah. Um, so they, they process everybody through. And um, essentially, you are issued, uh, if you don't have any clothes, they will issue like a basic kind of like burlap type shirt, if you want one or not. It's up to you. I would um, like one without art on it. Yeah, without any art on it. Um, and, uh, there's kind of, they kind of like, and then they issue you like a, like a really shitty little like tin bowl as well. Um, you're told much not to lose any of this stuff. Um, and, uh, they kind of bring you through to some like housing units, we'll say. Um, the units more or less are like, like just shelves, like inside a building, uh, they have some cover to them and, um, they uh, they say they'll be they'll be uh, work for you uh, in the uh, get some sleep. They'll be work for you in the morning. That wants some medical attention. <laughs> I can bleed internally. I, I think I think you broke my ribs. <laughs> just throw it down. Just here. I'm sorry, pal. How oh, will I qualify for upper management this way? Um, so the, um, you, you're in this housing unit, uh, it's really m not much more than like just something they kind of threw together. It, it'll keep the sun off you a little bit. As you guys kind of walk through, you can see this tower in the middle and the, the iron on it, like it's, it's almost, it's not braided, but like, it looks like it's been kind of like manipulated, like into these kind of spikes and stuff like that. Um, your thoughts about it is like, one, it looks like it would be pretty easy to climb, except for the fact that it is probably hot as shit to touch. It, it, yeah, climbing an iron tower in the bare sun would probably not be the smartest move. Yeah. That'd be um, and even at night, it would take it a while to dissipate the heat. Um, and you can see um, people moving, moving earth around the area, rocks. Um, there's mortar. There's all kinds of stuff they're moving around, such like that. Um, and you can see there's the, the, it isn't just people digging, but people sifting, people uh, moving, moving the stuff. It looks like there's a few people that do cook foods of some sort. You're not really sure what the hell it is though. 
Um, you're guessing it ain't gonna be very good. Mm -hmm. um, but this looks like this seems pretty rough. Good. Seems like a bad way to uh, live your life. So uh, you come into the you, but you get put housing unit, and uh, what do you? Uh, there's a, there's probably about like uh, sixty people in there. It's a pretty big. It's like a little longhouse kind of situation. Um, people coming in and seeing you. Some people look up. Some people don't. But uh, what, they, what, they take the, uh, they, what's the racial makeup. What's the racial makeup? Uh, it's it's lar it's largely human. Um, you do see a few dwarves in there. Uh, mountain and hill variants. Um, you see, there's uh, an elf. There's, a, well, there's one elf. Um, a few half elves. Um, other races you would see. I think else you would see in there. Sorry, I have to go down. I, I, there's just so many goddamn races in the game now. Um, back. So, um, you do see some half orcs. Um, okay. And uh, uh, bugbears, hobgoblins, um, no goblins, um, okay. and that's about it. Again, so progressive. I'm so glad we're with slavers that are open minded. Uh, the fuck? Uh, what the hell did you use me for a canvas for, lady? Person, they, I don't, I actually never asked. Yeah, I need to think about what I was doing. I panicked. Fair. Fair. I just, I didn't know what to do. And when I get nervous and scared, I paint. Well, at least you're honest. I mean, it could have been worse. You could have killed a guy. <laughs> Maybe next time work on your aim, dwarf. <laughs> Kill the right ones. Jesus. I mean, technically, you were in front of me. I could have finished you off with that one hit point. <laughs> well, that would have just been rude, wouldn't it? Have? Yeah. Heaven forbid you um, hit me. Do I, uh, is there, is there like, um, do I notice any obvious, not necessarily gang activity, but. Uh, <laughs> I was like, we just click. walked in the room. Damn, dude. There, there's a click. <laughs> um, there's, a, there's a click of, a, there's a click of probably about like six dwarves in there. Are they looking? Are they looking like they're uh, they're running the show? Um, in this place, um, you know where I'm going with this, right? Yeah, no, I know. You want to go find the biggest guy, All right? And kick him in the nuts. Yeah, um, yeah they they definitely the show. Um, look like they kind of run the show. Uh, they actually kind of start eyeballing you pretty hard when you walk in. Sure, and. Uh, they let you kind of they let you kind of mosey in for a little bit though before like they're gonna they're like they're gonna do anything immediately. All right. Well, I I, I eyeball them and then I, I hock a big loogie in their direction. Okay. Oh, you, spill the, you spill the floor with what yeah. with what little spit you have left. Yeah, it's just not <laughs> not doing much there. So one of them uh, comes over, one of the bigger ones, and he says, uh, "What are you doing on the surface?" Great. I kill. You kill. <laughs> you, didn't let, you didn't let me finish. I kill dwarves. I get in my face. Uh, make an intimidate check. Oh, I'm not good at that. <laughs> right, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so it's raw d20. Can I lay on hands myself? Uh, since high school, yeah, sure. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, you, yeah, you can lay on here yourself. I'm gonna try and heal myself. All right, you get you, five you, hit points. You get five points. I'm healing my, I'm healing myself. It was a solid eight. Solid eight. You kind of. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he kind of, <laughs> kind of, he kind of laughs a little bit. And I understand. I mean, in my head, I'm going like, fuck. And yeah, you have, you have a jerk store moment. I want to make a lot of Seinfeld references, uh, just, <laughs> but yeah, um, it's just a jerk store. But you, uh, you um, uh, he goes to headbutt you, but you pull back. Hmm. So he misses the headbutt. 
All right. Can I can I react to sweep this or am I still manacled? No, no, you guys are you guys are open freed up in, inside here. So if he's going to headbutt and I move back, can I I don't know whether I can roll to grab his head and just throw him to the ground? Yeah, sure. That's a, that, yeah, it's a pose athletics. So uh, just roll a d20 and add your athletics check, uh, which is a plus four for you. I like it more, Barn. I said I like this guy. He's just aiming all this wrong. Yeah. Uh, well, that's, that's it's all the wrong people. Is it? 13. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you go up and you put him on the ground immediately. Yeah. You don't hurt him, like, too bad, but you definitely embarrass him a little bit. And he – And once that – once that happens, I turn to uh, the two people behind me, yep. and I'm just like, it's going to get bad. Okay. The mm. other – the other dwarves, honest. The other uh, people are kind of like, oh, my God, oh, shit. And the other dwarves come rushing up. Yeah. Um, so I guess we're going to – I wasn't going to have combat, but fucking we're in combat. So uh, – <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and they're all like <laughs> – <laughs> At least he's honest. Yeah. So uh, – I, I was going for a sword and sorcery game, not like a prison freaking survival. I know. I, st- I don't know. Is to honest, it was the first thing that came to my head. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I, it's establishing a character. I get it. Yeah. Um, and I want I, I, just real quick, I want to say this to you real quick. This isn't going to, I just want to say this to you because I think we talked about this earlier. This is not going to be a game about like being in danger of servitude. It, this is called it's the establishing shot. Yeah, yeah no. I'm trying to establish the mood. It, trust me, it's gonna get it's gonna get wild and weird, guys. Like, think about this as like the opening of the video game. Like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, oh. What's that, Jerry? <laughs> yeah. What was that? I said yeah, I opened it. it. Yeah. You opened you it. Go. Yeah. No. Yeah. That can of whoop ass is open now. Um, <laughs> so I need everyone. I need everyone to roll initiative. Um, so uh, Andrea, on your sheet, you should see a thing that says uh, initiative. It's like the middle mm-hmm. top. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you click, if you have to just click that plus three there, it'll roll for you and add the three. Oh, oh. Sorry, I'm on the wrong sheet. I'm sorry. You, it was like, well, you do a plus three. Never mind. Okay. Do you see that okay. at all? Yeah. So if you click like, the three, it should just roll for you. Uh huh. Yeah, I did that. All right, cool. So, um, what did, uh, let me go through. Uh, uh, what did you get, Andrea? 14. 14. Uh, Zogchen got a 14, and what'd you get, uh, Dominic? 17! 17, okay. Right. With the negative! So, uh, no Rivara, so uh, you see this start to going down, and uh, you can see this dwarf is on the ground directly in front of you, uh, mm. as this, the, the very dark-skinned dwarf has just, I mean, put him, put him on the ground. Mm. Uh, what do you want to do, uh, no Rivara? So, the dark-skinned dwarf... <laughs> threw him on the ground, took the guy out. A bunch of dwarves are running he's up. Not, he's not out. The guy's just on the ground. And the other dwarves are advancing towards uh, Zogjen. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to try and um, get in front of this. I was like, and just kind of be like, Use intimidation to just go. I knock it off. Okay. All right. Uh, make an intimidation check uh, with disadvantage because they don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> <laughs> Some random dude yelling at him. Yeah, it's a random dude. Yo, guys, knock it off, and it's like, bro, really? nice. like, like they, they have a more interest in protecting their friend than being scared of you. So let's just say that. All right. So what would you get, man? Nine. Nine. Okay, so you go through. Advantage would have been twenty, but whatever. <laughs> so um, they they keep on advancing as you kind of approach it. That said, though, you are up next to uh, Zogchen now, so you're you're up there. Okay. Um, next up is uh, more barn. So you're you're staying there. You see this dwarf on the ground, um, and you see your your the the dwarf who's like just put him on the ground, like almost like it was nothing. Mm. Like he tri- I mean, he put the guy down hard, or pretty. He didn't put him down hard and hurt him, but he put him down like pretty well. Yeah. Um. Well, I grab both of his arms and I drag him into a corner. Okay. Uh, and get him. Make. Uh. Okay. Uh. Make a um. Just roll a d twenty just by itself. 
That's how much you get. You're dragging me? No. No. The guy on the ground. Oh, gotcha. Got gotcha. Eight. Eight. Okay. So you go up, you start dragging him, and he kind of pulls back a little bit, and he's like, he's like struggling with you. You can't, you don't manage to get him anywhere. Okay. He, he's a, he's quite a bit stronger than you. Okay. So, and he's also, he's also pretty heavy. Um, all right. Uh, goes to, uh, Zogchen. All right. Well, I'm going to kind of try to do the same thing. I'm going to try to pick him up. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I can do this all in one action. I was going to pick him up and throw him towards the, uh, Towards the other door. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you, 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 I'll let you uh, make it. Make an athletics check, uh, or yeah, athletics check. I believe. Yeah. Uh, you got plus four. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, eighteen. Okay. Eighteen. That's with the plus four. Okay. Yeah, you manage to like you get back on his feet and push him into his friends, and they kind of yeah. catch him. Yeah. And uh, all right. Uh, their turn, they, they, um, they kind of catch them and they're all like, they kind of look at you and they're like, stay out of our way. And they, they kind of go back off their corner. I just stare them off. That's fine. All right. So they, they seem like they're going to break off. Um, and there's like some people in the room there, a lot of the people in the room kind of freaked out and went to the, went to the edges of the walls. And like, some people are protecting like like younger people, like and they're kind of like, oh, don't hurt us. Um, <laughs> one of, what's that? I go, I look at her, I go, you're crazy, Chen. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so um, they kind of uh, settle it up, and uh, everyone's kind of like one of the, one of the people in there goes, hey, hey, what what are you doing? The the you try to stand, why are you guys trying to stand and start trouble with the breaker boys? The breaker boys, nice. Yeah, uh, they, well, they yeah, they're they're the best, some of the best stone breakers here in the camp. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm why, uh, why are we starting? <laughs> He's indiscriminately attacking people. <laughs> no, I I I, I turn to uh, I turn to more barn and uh, what is it? Norvar? Norvar. 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 I, I know I was missing a vowel there. Uh, and I would say thanks, thanks for the assistance. Uh, I, I've, I've been around these kinds of places before. Mm. And if you, don't, if you don't stand up for yourselves quickly, they're going to run over you. Well, don't expect any invitation to the Breaker Boys anytime soon. <laughs> Own with that, I don't think they'll be uh, adding you to their uh, their gang. Yeah, the like, the um the elder uh the guy the guy one of the guys like he's like yeah hey look like don't don't cause any trouble in here guys because if we start causing trouble the the guards are gonna come in they're they're gonna make an example of somebody sooner or later. Means you more barn. No good. way. So okay. I'm I'm the only one who hasn't injured or been injured. So <laughs> I'm those artist hands. Um, you paint your way out of the corner. All right. So I asked the old guy. I was like, "So what's the deal here? Like, we work. Anybody try and get out of here? Like, any anybody try to escape ever? People try once in a while. They don't make it very far. It's a hard climb. Climb. Yeah." You know, okay. He's like, I, I've, been here, I've been here for years now. And no one's ever tried to climb out. No, they, they, they've, they've, they've tried. We've all seen it. It's not pretty. Yeah. Helpful bunch. Usually, one of the, um, one of the overseers will give them, get, let them, give them a little sporting chance up that, up that wall, and give them a quick zap. Mm. A lot. They shoot him down with like. He kind of uh, yeah. He's like a lot of those uh, those guys you see in robes. They're no slouches. Yeah. Mm. The um. Yeah. O overseer, um, overseer Jarzak has put together a pretty a pretty tight ship here. Is that the guy in the nice robes earlier on? Like is that Jar? So? You don't you don't see Jar Jarzak. No. He sees you. 
Oh, I see. Okay. He lives. He lives up in the tower, far up there. He runs the show. How long you been here, sir? Been a couple of years. Ten years. Twelve, something like that. You um. Sounds like a choice. Sounds like a choice. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> I'm you got the Kanye reference, okay. Yeah. <laughs> God, I literally was going to be like, okay, Kanye. Uh, uh, um, is there anything? So the overseers are in the robes. They have zappy powers. The climb is there. fine. People don't really escape much. Who's the ogre that punched me in the face? Or in the chest? <laughs> there are a lot of ogres. There's a, there's a few dozen here. But um, they're... You want to kill that. They're um, they're like us, just uh, more useful. Wow, and they get fed a little bit better. Punch me in the stomach. So mm. When do we get fed? Probably in the morning. <laughs> on the way out, on the way to the camp, on the way to the work. Well, she's a dome. <laughs> so, um, okay, cool. So, what would you say? you do here friend my job is i i, I used to dig but i got a he, he kind of points down to his leg and you can see his leg isn't the straightest like it has some problems probably the, probably got like broke or something like that and didn't heal right he says i mostly sift now look for anything of value in the dirt when they bring it when they bring in the rubble what are they looking for gems bible stones i think they use it for spells i don't know sure Mm. But Z you know, Zahash has, from what all the stories say, he's wealthier than anyone else. I don't think he needs more money. I think he just, I think he needs, he's like all people of power, they need more of it. Where's the, um, I'm asking for a friend. More Brian. Uh, I'm asking. The guy, the, 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 the one guy you guys are talking to, he kind of looks at you and he says, you have a friend here? I do. Um, everyone's my friend, friend. Uh, where do you happen to know where the guard quarters are? The guard headquarters? The, the uh, you have no idea. This the layout of this place, more barn. So, what do you want to tell? No, them? no, no. I was joking. I was like, I'm asking oh. for a friend, more barn here. Do you know where oh, the guard, okay. uh, the guards? You're asking the guy, HQ? Yeah, I'm asking the guy. He says, um, they some of them, some of them stay down here all the time, some of them go up. Um, it's pretty well guarded. It's it's always guarded, and it's always well uh, a little stronger walls than what we got here. Yeah, but you're looking for a memory, you're, like, you're not gonna make it far in there, buddy. They're gonna know you're going for it. They're gonna hear you. They got everything's. They had that area so rigged up. Hmm. Have we any weapons? They kind of looks around. And he's like. Um, Uh, I'd say uh, you might if uh, you weren't so worried about being about who's in charge over here. And he kind of he kind of nudges off of the breaker boys. They got a few uh, makeshifts. We'll say. Well, I'm so glad we made friends with them, Chen. Thank you for that. that and, uh, Whatever the equivalent is in the language, fuck. <laughs> there. <laughs> so. Out of, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> um. But yeah, he's like, as far as fun goes around here, though, we we do have there are some nice uh, fun times watching the arena. The arena. Yeah, they got arena? yeah we, it's kind of a. Some some of us they know can fight a little bit. Some of us they know are more entertaining than others, and they'll see what uh, what we can do in there. That's one way. That's one of the only ways I've ever seen someone hold a weapon. I know. Mm. But they okay. didn't walk out. So they did say I was entertaining. What's that? They did say I. I, t I looked to the others. I go. They did say I was entertaining. I mean, you guys were boring, but I. I, I was pretty entertaining. Well, you painted a picture and you broke some poor guy's neck. What do you want from me? 
he, um, and he's like, well, I think, uh, I think it's going to take, it's, you, you guys will get the ebb and flow of the place here sooner or later. It's, it's better just to kind of go with it. The, um, mm -hmm. you, know, you might be able to establish and carve out a little bit of a, of a niche for yourself, like the breaker boys do, but that takes some time. Thank you for that uplifting advice. I appreciate your help. What's your name, old man? You son of a bitch. Um, no, uh, his name, his, my name is Dramond. All right, cool. No, I appreciate it. Um, do you know where where we should go sleep? Or we don't have to beat anybody oh, up. Grandma, if you can find a free shelf, it's yours. Oh, shelf. That's great. This is such a great place. I'm so happy here. You came here on your own, Morbarn? Jesus. That, that, that's a Morbarn. That, that might be a little offensive based on your, your why you did this, because it was like... Absolutely. It was either me or all the children in my place where I live. You don't know better. <laughs> you haven't been around to know better. They would have just thought it was a trip. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. This is awful. I want to get out of this here. This is me. I, I was... I'm worth a thousand children. <laughs> but while, while you guys are doing that, um, I find I find uh, a couple spots to sleep. You manage to find. So, so yeah, you guys just scurry up a corner and you guys start getting some rest. Uh, yeah, we're all friends. I don't want to wake up with you breaking my neck, for an example. Oh, like you, won't, I mean, you won't wake up to him breaking your neck. It already we broke it. You'd be dead. Dang. Wow. True. Sure. Uh, so wait, you uh, told him Jamar. <laughs> so you guys kind of tuck her out and sleep it off a little bit best you can. Um, you're all feeling pretty worn down, not feeling the best. Um, you wake up and uh, you, there's a peep, you notice people, you kind of hear everyone stirring about and they're like, hey, the guy Germans like, hey, it's time to go, guys. Come on, we gotta, we gotta hit the child. You gotta hit the child line before you miss out. Does that count as a long rest or? Yeah, you got a long rest. Yeah. So you get your hit points back. Congratulations. Hey. Um. Okay. So you you come up to the um, everyone's kind of coming outside, and there's this kind of like um, like rough trough, if you will. And everyone's kind of as they're walking out out of the, the out of the area to like the work to where they go to work. They're kind of taking their tin bowls and just kind of grabbing a little bit and eating it on the way over. Getting the chow on. Yeah. No, I officially hate this place. <laughs> You're having a rough go here. <laughs> I'm having a rough go. I don't want to be here. Come on, you don't want to be here either. I don't know. I'm starting to adjust to it. In a day? <laughs> got, got, to, got to start sometime. Right. Um, so you, you kind of start, uh, as you guys kind of come out, there's a lot, you see a lot more workers. You, you're actually in, in part of like a, a general kind of area where it's probably, I mean, there's a few hundred people in there. Um, you can see that there's several guards uh, posted along, like there's, there's like a, uh, Watchers on, on like kind of like like kind of makeshift towers. They're not very. They're not very like. Uh, they're not like war towers something like that. They're not gonna like take a hit. Um, but there, uh, there's a few of them around. Uh, you do spot occasionally uh, levitating around. You do spot one of these overseers, these kind of wizardy types, levitating around the whole place, kind of like just looking around, seeing what's going on in the air, like probably like 40, 50 feet up in the air. Mm. Um, and they might kind of hover down or something like that. Uh, you do see that there is uh, ogres moving gear around. Um, as you guys kind of walk past, they kind of check where your marks are and uh, are directing you towards routes. You can see that on the ground there's like um, kind of painted uh, ways to walk. Um, it's kind of a color co color coded system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, they're going to the super. What's up? They're going to the supermarket now. He's going to the supermarket. Yeah. So you, so uh, they kind of direct uh, you two. They have the blue marks. They direct you guys. They give you guys uh, implements. It could be. It's like they either give you a shovel or a shitty pickaxe, something like that. 
and they're pointing you over to one of the walls. Um, More Barn, they're, um, they actually tell you to go over with these two guys and part of their group. And you're instructed to um, sample the, uh, the land for uh, any kind of pigmentation you can find to help them make inks. Mm. The day passes. It sucks. Um, I need everyone to make a constitution check or constitution saving throw. So more bar. So for uh, Andrea, so on your sheet is a thing that says um, saving throws. Yes. Okay. Uh, click the um, the one that says con. Yep. And uh, and then everybody else can roll one. Tell me what you get. Uh, what's my con? Six. All right. Man, you suck. Okay, so I, you got six. And what did uh, Zogchen get? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, I was going to say you got six. That'd be awesome. All right. So you, um, uh, Zogchen, you, you, you managed to hold up on this pretty well. Um, the other two of you are starting to get kind of, you get kind of worn out. Like the day is actually pretty harsh. Um, and you have what's uh, exhaustion. If you're playing D&D Beyond and you click on the sections as conditions, you can add a level of exhaustion there, but don't worry about it right now. Um, so like there's no breaks. Um, occasionally someone does come by with water later on. It's kind of rough, but like they do let you get some water in there. Um, and you manage to kind of get through the day it's not great um and it's a, it's 12 it's a 12 hour work day it's pretty rough um what you hear um what i, what I want to hear though is during this time working is there anything specific you want to try to do or engage in uh, there's other workers uh there's people coming by stuff you can try to see uh, i'm trying to get a feel for like any patterns that i see during the course of the day of the guards and how they move around and the overseer themselves i'm also uh, Make, it a, make an investigation check. Yeah. For, uh, yeah. Shit. Man, you suck, dude. I think I'm going to roll different dice here. <laughs> one 20 sided die just keeps letting me down. What'd you get? Eight. Eight. Okay. So you're basically, because you're, it's so early into this thing, you're kind of seeing what you think could be patterns, but you're not sure if they are yet or not. Yeah. So you didn't pick up any false patterns, but you're not sure if they're if like the way that the work the workflow is going and how the guards are moving around, if you can pick up on it or not. Um, what about either Zogchen or Marbarn? Yeah, I'm kind of the same thing. I'm trying to trying to piece together the hierarchy of the different guards and who's answering okay. who and that kind of thing. Do, what do you want to investigate? Uh, let's do with that one. This um, yeah, this, this, uh, let's do investigation. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. 18. 18, very nice. Um, I normally don't roll this well. This is actually a flute. Yeah, you, you pick the right character. Uh, so uh, you sort of look, you kind of watch the guards and you're, you're picking up that like, uh, there's, the guards are definitely regimented. Uh, they definitely mm -hmm. have an order. Uh, what that order is, you have a suspicion, but you you couldn't confirm it right now. Like you need sure. to see, you need to see at least another day or two to figure it out. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe they switch up shifts each day. You, you're like you're not sure. That said, though, what you have gathered is that um, they are uh, you you do suspect based on your training and the way these guys kind of move that mm -hmm. they might have some sort of. Um, telepathic uh setup amongst themselves mm. that they that they can seem to communicate without speaking almost it's either you're not sure it could be telepathy it also could be some sort of like gesture sign situation they have uh okay but you're not you're but, not sure there's something else going on the surface so there is some non-verbal communication going on yeah that uh, more barn during the day. What do you want to do? Do you want to talk to people? Do you want to try to watch the guards? Do you want to like uh, learn about the land? Uh, what, what kind yeah. of endeavor? Right do you want? now, I'm just really focused on getting an idea. I'm I'm really curious about that shady area. Okay. Uh, because I feel like there's potential that there mm -hmm. might be some untapped resource or some sort of 
um, opportunity there. Okay. I'm so, really. So um, because you're, 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 you're basically in like a, a mind shaft for the day doing, doing stuff. Ah. Um, you could, the way you could find out about that is you could ask the other uh, workers or try to ask a guard or whatever you want to do. Uh, who would you want to like inquire about to find out more information about that? Uh, I'm interested in speaking with the guards because I feel like I'm, I could potentially get them to trust me. Right. So you go up and speak to one of the guards. Um, and uh, this is not like one of the, the armored guards you've seen. This guy looks like he is not a, he's not one of these, these bull guards. He seems more kind of like they, they have a, um, uh, they have a, they have uh, a, someone that like basically is loyal enough that they gave uh, a, a spear to. Mm -hmm. But he's definitely not. Um, he, he's like wearing like like maybe like some uh, like kind of put together armor. It's not like ring mail the mess. It's not. It's like chain mail. It's not formal. But um, he's definitely kind of like making sure people are, are working. You do see him at one point. Like if, if someone's not working, he kind of goes over and gives them a quick poke. Um, but uh, yeah, he's he's standing there and he's he says, "You have some some reports, Midge." Yeah. I uh, couldn't help but notice on my way in that there was a shady area by that big cast iron tower. Yeah, the tower cast shade from the sun and the the uh, rotunda at the top, especially at noon, cast a nice shadow. You ever been up there? <laughs> yes, I, I can dream of it. Mm. Damn. <laughs> Seems like the perfect spot to maybe hide something if there was something that you wanted to hide. Well, from my understanding, the over the uh, head overseer uh, Jarzak lives there and oversees oh. the operation. I know a few of his uh, the tenants make it up there once in a while, but that's about it. Gotcha. Well, hey, what's your what's your name? God damn it! All right, <laughs> Timmy. My name. My name. My name is. My name is Erland. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm glad I got to know your name. I find that knowing people's names is one of the best ways that you can really become friends, Erland. I also find it makes it my job. It also makes my job harder to do. This place is great. What's that? I was like, this place is great. I love it. Here. <laughs> this is the worst phase five I've ever been to. Well, hey, you know, <laughs> may I give you something? Okay. I pull out a little piece of paper. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how you got it in the camp and go on. <laughs> I made it. That old prison purse. I made it with spit. <laughs> okay. That's dirt. What? <laughs> okay, so you, you do have a, a very small piece of parchment with you. <laughs> and I give it as a gift for him. Okay. He's giving he, me some information. He takes the small piece of paper and. Okay. He puts it in, a, puts it in his belt. It's like. It's Somebody spit paper out of your <laughs> fucking pocket. <laughs> you probably shoved up your ass to get into this fucking thing. Uh, I'm, I'm. This that would be my comment when you choose to tell me this story later. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah. He was, uh, crushing it. I'm crushing make, it right now. Make, uh, more bar. Make a uh, persuasion check. So if under sheet, you can just click that. Per, uh, it's under skills as persuasion. And then click the little two. Got it. Um, skills, persuasion. Three. You rolled a one? Did I roll a one? Well, I rolled a three. Uh, oh, did, uh, oh, is that what I said total with a plus two? Uh, so if I go to skills and hit persuasion, mm -hmm. 
I just clicked that. All right, well, it's, I just rolled it again, so nine. Okay. Um, either way, so you, you go to try to like persuade him. He's he's not persuaded by your gift. Um, Damn. He's kind of like, okay. He's like, don't you have some work to get back to? <laughs> <laughs> nice gift. Uh, want to get back to work? Yeah. Oh, weird. Um. He's like, no, seriously. Don't you have some work to get back to? And he kind of like, he kind of has his spear. Like, yeah. Okay. All right. So he, sorry, he dude. Like he, I thought my, thought my spit paper was. <laughs> no, you didn't, you didn't want to give me papers here. Not even the gesture. He's like, oh, great. Now I have to carry this around. Fuck. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what am I supposed to do with this? So he, um, so after the, uh, on the way back, they kind of start marching you back uh, along the color coded lines to the, to the um the quarters and you're starting to see kind of like the the way they're pervading like you guys could easily run off off the lines but you're noticing that like at one point you do see someone kind of like straggle off the line they're not feeling too well they kind of like they kind of do it and as soon as they do you um see one of these like wizard guys that are kind of up in the air kind of levitating around looks right down at the guy and like the guy kind of like puts his hand out and as soon as that guy steps on the line, he is immediately illuminated. He's not like on fire. He suddenly becomes very brightly lit. And other guards immediately advance on him. Wow. So you're guessing that they have some sort of like alarm system set up off these lines. Like if certain areas get touched during certain times, they'll, they'll trigger. And whatever they're doing here, it is a tight ship. You are, what you do have to, um, you do have to marvel at their uh, ingenuity. <laughs> so, but they are progressives. They are, yeah, yeah. No, they. Um, yeah. So, um, on the way back, uh, one of the uh, the formal guards towards the end of the line uh, puts his hand up in front of you, uh, Zogchen. Like, puts mm -hmm. his hand up to stop. Uh oh. Is it the big guard? What's up? Is this like one of the big guards? Uh, yeah, he's wearing the formal armor. Okay, all right. And all he, right, says, he says, um, you're going in tomorrow. Where am I going? He looks, he points off at the distance. He says, the arena. I say it's about time. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> a day? And no, no, Rivar, all you do, no, uh, Rivar, the story of your life, you missed the promotion. Uh, but they, um, when he points you out, he stops you and he says, uh, go with this one. And he, he, he points to a woman um, and uh, she says, uh, come with me. I, I will take you to the, uh, the prep area. Well, if you're taking me away, I, I turn back to that guard. Mm -hmm. I say, are you a betting man? He kind of he laughs. He says, it, it adds to the excitement. Yeah. Well, you better put it all on me. Put it all oh, on black. Yeah. You, you can say, always bet on black. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I missed that. God yeah. damn it. All right. Yeah. You got to edit this out, John. I'll edit it out. Okay. He to the oh, guard and he goes, <laughs> you <laughs> always bet on black. And God then I. What, yeah. Wesley Snipes, dude, underrated fucking actor star of all time, man. Fucking. 100%. And then I turn to him also and say, and I don't pay my taxes either. And then I walk away. <laughs> that might be why you're here. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's the, it's the pit of tax evaders. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he should have gotten the part as Django and he wouldn't have had any problems. Yeah, yeah but Just I think saying. Jamie Foxx. Hot Jamie take. Fox killed that one. Come on. Yeah. Fox, that's the thing about Jamie Foxx, man, is like, I, I knew him from Living Color. And when he started becoming this dramatic actor, I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, I was like, shit, you know, what kind of world is this, man? But it's like, he's fucking great at it, you know, I love it. Um, so, uh, you, um, uh, Zogchen, uh, you get kind of directed off into this, this other area, um, into a, uh, what looks to be kind of a series, I want to say a series of tunnels, 
but you kind of go through okay. this tunnel, this this brief tunnel, and you come into a room that actually has like beds. It actually has okay. amenities, um, and it looks like they want you to get in a be well for whatever it is you're going to do tomorrow. Um, one of the as Norvar and Morbar, and you come back to the um, the servant areas, the servant areas, the 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 camps as it would be. Um, they tell you you get kind of like some notice. People are like, "You guys picked a good day to come." They're kind oh, yeah. of just like, "Well, tomorrow's one of the, the few times we get off. We get to actually watch the arena." Great. Perfect. Where's uh, Zog Chen? Zog Chen was, he had that mark on his arm. He was going to be chosen for the arena. Well, somehow I feel like we should bet on black. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that's I interesting. Okay. Well, I'm actually, some people are, when, they, when, you, when you start talking about gambling, they actually kind of, kind of interested, and some people start like, what do you have to bet? I don't say spit paper. <laughs> I got some more of this parchment. I mean, uh, uh, you like gnomes? I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna bet you. I'll never bet you. We're already friends. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I have in my pocket. So I'll get back to you. <laughs> you, you always could. You always could bet your your ration of food for the next day. You know, I'm really more of an observer. Uh, yeah. No. You know what? You know what? That middle that middle 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 broke the neck of a guy standing right next to him. I'm totally betting on that fucking door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, I will say this: the uh, one of the current long reigning uh, members, if he gets paired against. It'll be a uh, entertaining fight. Oh, jeez. They call him the trouncer. Yeah, the trouncer. The trouncer. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a barbarian here, so. Uh, well, let's just pray to God that I roll well. All right. Just try. All right. Have you ever tried to rage? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Have you ever tried to get mad? Uh, I did it once. At this arena, everybody takes the day off and shows up in one place focused on one thing, huh? Mm -hmm. the, uh, it is there to provide us some sort of respite, but it's only once every 10 days. Mm -hmm. well, I also mentioned it in my world, weeks are 10 days. Oh. Okay. So the, the, if you guys want to know how my calendar works, it's an eight-month calendar. Oh. Each month is 45 days. Okay. With 10-day 10, 10 weeks. So it ends, up, it ends up actually being 360 days. It, it actually ends up being pretty close to uh, our calendar. That's interesting. Right. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, so they, we should talk about what we're going to do when everybody gathers in one place to watch something. I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna we're gonna end it there for the day. And we're we're gonna pick it up next day on the next day. Uh, hopefully uh, Michael should be able to make it to the next one. Um I totally got where he he, he got hold of me last night, so I really appreciate that. But yeah, dude, so that's that's kind of our So we, so so the next one, so we're going to the arena. Me and Noravar aren't participating. We're watching Zog Chen betting on black. Well, yeah, you guys can, you guys can, you guys can, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. If you want to try, to, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you guys got some sort of like escape plan, or if you guys want to start pickpocketing people at the freaking arena, or like, what do you want to do? But it's, it's going to be up to you, and we'll, we'll pick it up on Wednesday next week. I want to set fire right. to the fucking arena and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Do. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see what you got. That was a thought. I thought maybe you're gonna social network. 
I'm just going to put that yeah. on the table. We can workshop it. I'm not trying to be evil. I'm trying to be a good person. I just want to get the fuck out of here at some point. So we'll talk I about it. I didn't want to kill the guy that was behind me. That's why yeah. I said a prayer for him. Yeah, but that was pretty shitty. That was pretty shitty. Well, he wasn't going to make it long. It was actually a mercy death. That's we right. were talking way over. Justifications are fascinating. 